What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to do a full breakdown, a full walkthrough of Boxum. I'm going to show you guys the workflow, the complete process from start to finish of sending a shipment into Amazon using the Boxum workflow uh, and just kind of highlight why it's quicker, faster, of course cheaper than some of the older other softwares that exist. Um, cool thing for today's video, we have a discount code, a free trial located in the description. Uh, so make sure you go check that out once you watch the video. Um, that'll allow you to send in a couple shipments for free and you can see for yourself how much better Boxum actually is compared to the other software. So without further ado, let's get into it. Perfect. So we are in my screen and I'm just going to walk you through the workflow of Boxum just to kind of highlight some of the key points, highlight how much more efficient, how much quicker it is than other software options. Uh, and just kind of portray the value that um, Boxum is going to provide your business every single shipment you send out. So we are in the Create Shipment Workflow. There's going to be a lot of default kind of um, populated information. Up at the top here we have, we can just enter in our shipment name as long with obviously toggle to FBA. From here, we are going to have options to create a new address, whether we're shipping from a prep center or a new house or whatever the case may be. And we have a default address loaded up. Obviously, that's catered to you, personalized. Um, the option to switch between SPD and LTL. And down here, we have the packaging and label section. This is all default just based on my options. I prefer the case packed option. Um, and I'll kind of dig deeper into and show you why that's so much quicker and, and, and valuable later in the workflow. But essentially, the case pact is, is going to kind of um, push your inventory and restrict it to a smaller quantity of uh, different locations, which is going to help you out and save on shipping cost. Seller labels or Amazon labels, you can toggle between the two. And for box content, <clears throat> this is going to be a huge value add from Boxum. The ability to use 2D barcodes and, and kind of the, the net of it is 2D barcodes are a quicker, more efficient way to have your inventory checked into Amazon. So it's going to look a little different than the standard Amazon FBA label that goes on the outside of the box. It's going to have an extra label um, and it just allows Amazon's employees to check your inventory in quicker, faster, ultimately getting profit dollars back in your pocket. So I would recommend the 2D barcode option. Um, but, of course, you can use the box and provide it as well. This is going to be another cool option and value add of Boxum. It's going to be kind of give you the option, give you the the um, ability to print out FBA box labels and UPS box labels at different points of the workflow. And once you get in here and do your first shipment, you'll kind of realize how valuable it is, how much quicker it is. But the net of it is, right, without kind of boring you with the details, when you're doing your standard workflow, right, you scan a product, you label it, and ordinarily you'd either have to put it in a box and label it with a marker or something or keep it on the outside and wait to the end to actually ultimately do your case pack info, right? Because with Amazon's workflow, you have to print out the UPS and the box labels at the same time. However, with Boxum, it allows you to print out the, the box label with the product labels, um, so you don't have to go out of the way and actually label the box or wait until the case back to the very end. It, it just allows you to stay organized, stay efficient, label, I mean, uh, um, fill your boxes as you're labeling the FN SKUs um, so you're not touching the product more times than you have to. So that's going to be cool. Make sure you have that option on. You can tell Boxum to kind of inherently force markets up a little bit, right? So you can create your increment in terms of like when your products are on the way to Amazon, what increment you want it raised, right? So you can do 10%, 25%, 50%. Essentially, this is just kind of uh, inherently trying to force product markets up a bit before your Amazon inventory is actually checked in and sellable. Um, and obviously, your, your price is going to take over at a certain point. You can have some metadata here to kind of code your SKUs. But with that being said, let us create a shipment. And so this is where the magic is actually going to happen. Uh, so you can see this is our search page where we actually populate our shipment with products. Um, so say, for example, maybe I didn't have the ASIN right in front of me, um, so I just kind of wanted to sort Gillette Fusion 5. Within seconds, I have all the Gillette Fusion 5 listings um, at my disposal. I can click into the actual Amazon listing by clicking the link. 
But I can see all the different pop uh, options based on specific keywords that I type in. Now, no, I don't have any of these actually in inventory. If I did, you'd see a little replenish button on the bottom, but it gives me the option to add any of these to my inventory just simply based on keywords. Right now, maybe I have the actual ASIN. I type in the ASIN and it populates within seconds. So this page is going to be super streamlined, super fast compared to other options. Now, for example, maybe I want to add an Adidas product that I've had previously into the catalog. You'll see this, you know, the, the SKU I had, obviously any inventory I have, new. Um, and so I can click into this little plus button to add it to the batch, add it to the shipment under the parameters that I already had existed, right? Obviously under the same FN SKU, SKU label, whatever, keeps it under that same listing. So I can just simply replenish if there's a line item there. Enter and buy cost as you see fit. Now this is where the case pack kind of resurfaces. Now say for example you had 50 units, right? And you had two boxes and two boxes and you knew 25 fit into each box. Ordinarily, right, if you just told your shipment flow that you had 50 units, Amazon's going to try and send those 50 units to seven different places. However, with Boxum, you could actually restrict it with the case pack option, right? So say I have those 50 units and I want them to go into two boxes, right? All I got to do is, you know, tell 50 units total, tell them how many I'm putting in each box, quote unquote, case pack. And Amazon's going to bring my inventory and make sure that it comes in in two boxes. Um, with the same token, maybe I had 100, right? And I knew I am going to put 10 in each box. Same thing, right? Amazon's not going to differ, right? Amazon's not going to split your shipment apart from the case pack info. Right, so definitely use the case pack info to your advantage because it's not going to split a case pack. It's not going to tell you you have to send five here, five there when you already told Amazon you want you're you're putting ten in a box. So this is actually a really cool feature that allows you to save money on shipping costs, allows your shipments to be more consolidated, and ultimately uh, makes life a little bit easier when you're sending in your products. Um, so we have the case pack info that tell Amazon how many units they should be expecting. Obviously, with the SKU that's pre-populated, expiration date if it applies, and you simply hit add, and it's going to populate within your shipment. Now, if we had more products, we can add them in the same capacity. We could also adjust the case pack info as we see fit. Otherwise, right, if it's right or rock, we hit continue, confirm and send request, and now it's sending the information out to Amazon. Now, sometimes it takes a couple minutes. In this case, it actually did not. You can, again, see just how quick this process actually is. And as promised, they're going to split into those quantities of 10, right? Because I told Amazon that I'm case packing by 10. And so we have 40, 30, 30. And there's going to be three boxes of 10 here, three boxes of 10 here, four boxes of 10 here, without actually having to pay for any sort of inventory costs or or inventory placement fees or something like that, right? So it's going to be a free way to consolidate your shipment all into the minimum locations possible. Now from here, right, I'm not going to actually do it because it's going to put those inventory into my account and charge me for the shipping and all that stuff, but I would hit confirm all shipments and then just go ahead. Actually, I can. No, I'm not going to. I would hit confirm all shipments and I'm just going to box my stuff, right? I can print out the box labels as I'm labeling each product print out the UPS label and ready to rock it box them sends all the Amazon or, or Amazon or sends all the information to Amazon and you write a roll right and so this is kind of the workflow of how you send a particular shipment in current state again more efficient quicker faster less headaches use box them a free trial is included in the description of this video so make sure you check it out um, two-week free trial check out boxum.com and with that guys I'll see you in the next video